Hey guys, welcome back. It is Rand Can't Cook. Uh, I hate to tell you guys, this is the final episode. Season one is over. Today's it. Um, I am being transferred from station three, this little tiny kitchen, to station one to a giant kitchen. And I'm going to be going from cooking for four people to cooking for 15. So they said it's like almost like getting syndication and going on cable. That's what I'm doing. Chuck's also getting moved, aren't you, Chuck? Yes, sir, I am. Yes, and so he has already been sleeping ahead of time because he knows where he's going. He's probably not going to get a lot of sleep. And that is a not necessarily a good thing. So today, what for our final episode, what we're going to do is we're going to do we're doing like a picnic style, uh, barbecue chicken style. So I saw this recipe, thought it was kind of cool. We're going to be using chicken thighs today, and so Chuck and Jim and here my great wonderful chicken thighs. They had these. Uh, these are only a buck ninety nine, and uh, not too bad a pound. Uh, I think boneless, skinless was what four twenty nine, Chuck. Yeah, yes, so sir. That's right. High. So we are kind of going to go this route today. So I got one glove and one not glove because I'm going to be having to touch this back and forth. So we're going to kind of help ourselves out just a little bit. What we're going to do, we're going to end up coating them all in mustard. Uh, then we're going to use a little cayenne pepper on top of them, a little, well, our version of the Louisiana Cajun spice. And then we're going to grill them and we're going to meet, we're going to meet you out at the grill today. We don't usually do a lot of out, outside the grill moments. We're going to take our mustard, we're going to squirt a little more on each one. Oh yeah, thank you for that. <laughs> each one. Slather it on there. That's what I got the glove for. We kind of rub it in place. Rub it in place. Kind of like giving a massage to thighs. That's probably what this is. It's kind of like a massage. But anyway, so yeah, I'm getting shipped off. I've been here about six years and I am moving to station one on C Ship. I'm actually changing shields too as well. So um, that way I can start a whole new uh, row of people to irritate. So that'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I hope they know what they're getting themselves into. But anyway, um, so we're excited. Bigger kitchen. Uh, we are. Our, we're going to call it the uh, Free from Three tour. It's kind of what we're calling this. Um, and I am, like I said, moving to a bigger kitchen. So anyway, so I hope you guys are having a good February. I know it's kind of rainy today. At, here, at least it is here. Um, and it is definitely not the best day, but it is nice. It, at least we're at work and. Uh, we're breathing. That's a good thing, isn't it, Chuck? Always a good thing, yes, sir. Yeah. So how's the EMT school going? You still in EMT school? Right? I am still in the EMT school. Still it's uh, it's going. It's I'm, I'm going to leave it like that. It's going. So what's been the hardest thing, Chuck, that you've had to learn so far? Ooh, uh, all the different components of the heart. There's a lot more to it than what I anticipated. A lot more there's than what a, you thought. Yeah. There's a there's a lot to it. Okay. A lot to, lot to keep us running. Yeah. So now, how many uh, in EMT? Kind of tell our viewers outside, our 37 subscribers. Mm -hmm. uh, tell them how many how many weeks is EMT school? uh let's see it's from it was from january until and it's going to run out in april so okay all right that's, so uh, that's yeah that's a uh, it's it's good it's good we cover about four chapters a week and uh kind of go from there kind of go from there it's a uh, it's a lot all right so what i've done is i've taken a little bit of season here and like i said i'm using the cajun season you want back up here too i'm doing a bit of the cajun seasoning i'm gonna put that on there we kind of lightly coated each one now because these have the bone in they're gonna take a few minutes longer um, but we're gonna go ahead and go put these on the grill in just a second, and uh, we'll get you. We'll meet you out there when we get to ready to flip here shortly. So check back in here in just a couple minutes, and we will show you what these boys are starting to look like as they are buying up and grilling up. So, hey, we're back. So uh, we are made it out to the grill. We're in the wonderful outside station three. There's the giant water tower. Brand can cook has never shown the water tower. I get to look at that. Uh, the nervous part of that water tower is the fact if a tornado hits it, it may flood us and wash us down the hillside. I've always been a little nervous about that. But anyway, so we got the grill going here. Uh, this is Weber. They didn't sponsor us. We had to pay for this. But anyway, uh, I've got it on about medium high. And the thighs have been on there for a few minutes. Um, got one, a couple, got a couple good hot spots on it. So uh, whoever the guy that takes my spot, bless his heart if he has to cook on this thing. you got to kind of move it around. So Weber, I'm not really hating on you, but uh, sometimes you get your grills a little bit off. Anyway, we're going to flip everybody over. Uh, we did both sides, coated both sides. Um, it's probably going to take about 20, 25 minutes for all this to cook just about right, maybe 30. Um, as you can tell, some of it's still kind of raw. Um, and we're going to kind of go from there. Now, because you've got hot spots on the grill, if you don't have a lot of grilling experience, it is good to kind of rotate everybody around so everybody kind of gets a good um, a good feel for the heat. And uh, so we're going to kind of do that. I'm moving everybody around a little bit, let them all get a little bit. Kind of like how we move stations sometimes. We let everybody move <laughs> in different places and uh, try out a different area. So that's kind of what uh, several of us are getting to experience here before long. And uh, we are getting to go to different places. So like I said, we're going to kind of do this. I may cut it up just a little bit. We're working a little bit slow today just because it's not real hot outside. 
I even packed my Rankin cook apron, so I don't even have that with me. So anyway, um, this is the grill. So we're gonna come back here in a little while and we'll check this out and let you kind of see what it's starting to look like as it crisp up. Uh, if you're not a grill master, this is it. Chicken thighs are pretty easy. Bone's not real big, but it does take a little while, so making sure uh, that you get it all nice and even and not raw, it's always a good thing. So we're having roasted potatoes today and we're doing roasted loaded potatoes and we're doing baked beans today. So it should be a good picnic style day. So talk to you shortly. All right guys, we are back. This is it. We've had the grill going for about 20, 25 minutes. Been cooking on about 300, 325 degrees. The temperature's probably not right. But anyway, um, what we ended up doing is we put mustard on, if you want, with us, we coated it in mustard, like, like a little bit of mustard, a little bit of Cajun seasoning. And then what we've done, I'll let you come in here and for the unveiling. And then what we've done is we took about a cup, cup and a half of Stubbs barbecue sauce, and we probably put about four ounces of Dr. Pepper. Mix that all up, which thinned it out a little bit, caused a good reaction, and this is what we have. So these guys have been sitting on there about the last five to seven minutes. Most people usually screw up on the grill and mess up a bunch, is they end up uh, putting this on entirely too much, and it ends up burning, and then it doesn't make a good, good chicken dye. So we're gonna get them off. Uh, I hate this is my last time probably to cook at Station 3 for a while, but you know, it is what it is. I'm um, looking forward to my new grill and my new uh, my new kitchen and all those new uh, mouths to feed. And uh, see, Chuck won't have to eat my cooking no more, so he's going to a good station with a good cook, and he don't have to suffer through mine. So anyway, but we hope you've enjoyed Ran Can Cook. Uh, this is our season one, probably the longest season one of all time. I think I started this in 2020. And so it's been only three years of season one, and so we're this is our season finale closeout, and we're doing it with. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> I hope I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. I look forward to going live with you or uh, filming, it, obviously, uh, with you at Station One on season two of Ran Can Cook. So this is Big Chuck. Tell, tell everybody bye. Bye. And this is the Ran Can Cook. Uh, take care of yourself. Peace out.